Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. On today's video, I'm going to be testing fragrance blend combinations recommended by Candle Science. So if you want to see what my combinations are, keep on watching. Yes! Welcome back to the channel, darling! Yes! So guys, so like I promised you on my live stream last Sunday, I'm going to be making a few candles. I'm, I'm going to be using Candle Sciences uh, website. And they have a section on the learning section in there that I think it's something that everyone uh, should go take a look at it. It's called Blending a Fragrance Oils 101. So I'm going to put the link down below on the description box. So I'm just going to read to you a few of the different uh, blends that they got okay just uh, recommendations okay let me just first read you um uh, some information okay uh, what it, what are the benefits of uh of blending fragrance blending it's lots of fun but it's also a great way to different to differentiate your brand custom scents that can't be found anywhere else entice customers to return again and again not to mention, you can create an entirely new fragrance library without the need to buy, test, and evaluate new fragrances. Blending is also the perfect opportunity to flex those creative muscles. Scent blends can spark some attention grabbing fragrance names, fragrance names, label designs, and other fun branding ideas. To get you started, here are a few candle kind of scent names, ideas that we came up with the autumn and Halloween themed fragrances, okay? So these are the names that the uh, Candle Science are, are giving uh, ideas, okay? So if you blend black currant absinthe and apple, uh, Macintosh apple, you can name it bad apple. Uh, if you blend uh, vetiver and fireside, you can name it wicked man. If you blend fallen leaves, fireside and oak moss and amber, you can name this ghost story. If you blend peppercorn pomander and black sea, you can uh, name this toil and trouble. And the other sample is if you blend Fraser fur, dragon's blood, and Egyptian amber, you can blend. Uh, you can name this cabin in the woods. Okay, so that's gonna be one of the scents that one of the blends that I wanna make because I have. I'm pretty sure that I have all all these uh, fragrance oils. Let me just make a mark. Okay, so I'm gonna look for. Face of Fur, Dragon's Blood, and Edition Number. Continue, let me just put this, a check mark next to it. All the different um, recommendations, okay? Uh, one of them is gonna be white tea and rainwater. Uh, I don't think I have rainwater. Uh, another recommendation is sandalwood and red rose. I don't think I have red rose. Another recommendation is lavender and rosemary sage. Yes, that's my friend uh, Mirna's favorite scent. So I'm not gonna make this one because this one I made before. Okay, if you make, uh, if you mix amber and driftwood and addition amber, okay? I'm gonna try, I think I have those. So let me just make a note of that. Amber and driftwood and Egyptian amber. I'm gonna put a question mark because I don't know if I have that. Okay, flakes of fur and frankincense and myrrh. Yes. I think this one I'm gonna love, especially for the holidays. Okay, I have black amber and plum. I think I have that. Uh, peppermint and eucalyptus. I think I have those two. Okay, so I'm gonna look for them. Okay, another blend they recommend is amber and driftwood plus Caribbean thick wood. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Another blend is English garden and French lilac. I think I have those two. I'm gonna try. Another blend is cypress and bayberry plus Bruce Bruce. I think I have that. I'm gonna look for them. Um, the last one is gonna be vetiver and library. I think I have those two. So let's go into the candle bar and see if I have any of those. Let's start looking for the oils. Okay, let's see. Let me get the paper that I have. Okay, the first one, Fraser Fur, Dragon's Blood, and Edition Mam Amber. I think I have those in here. Okay. Fraser Fur, Dragon's Blood. I'm pretty sure I have that. The mention, which is Frosted Juniper. Let me just put it to the side. Okay, I have Fireside. That's also one that they recommend. Another one that they recommend is Blue Spruce. Let me just put it to the side. Then leaves, they also recommend. Put it to the side. 
Okay, Dragon's Blood. I don't think I have that much, but it should be enough for the test. Oh, I have a bigger one on Dragon's Blood, so I'm just putting it in here. Okay, and guys, also, if you have any of these oils that are not candle signs, but they have like the, uh, the same uh, scent, try them too, you know? It doesn't have to uh, just be um, stay on this. You know, this is, they do this because it's their, uh, the company, so they have to... Okay, so let me stay in here. English Garden, one of them. I know I have library somewhere. I'm not too crazy about it, but I know people love it. Okay, French Lilac is one of them. In here. And take it out. It's like I have so many repeats of the same scent. You know, I don't know why, but you know. Oh, I got rainwater. Okay, let's see what else. English Garden and French Lilac. Like, um, did I have? Do I have English Garden? Let me see. But I, I know I have English Garden in another company, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna, I'll use that one. Rosemary and Sage. Okay. Amber and Driftwood. Uh, Betty Bear is almost gone. Okay, I don't have any more. Okay, guys, so whatever I have in here. Are we gonna work with this? Okay, so let me just start putting stuff that I don't need. Put it away. Need to make space. And I'm gonna be using, guys, a PV600 on this because I don't wanna waste my uh, soy this wax. It's very precious, very expensive, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. Okay, the first one is Flaser Fur. I'm gonna make a pregnant strip because I don't wanna waste my time if I don't like it. Okay. That way I can blend it with something else too, if I want to. Okay, spray it for and then Dragon's Blood. Okay, and the third one, Egyptian Amber. I almost, I'm almost run out. I don't even think I have enough. So I'll just try this one. I could have swore I have a bigger bottle of this, but I guess not. Okay. Oh my God, this is heavenly. Okay. Sweet case also has an Egyptian amber. I can, I can use some, that one too. Okay, the next one is Dragon's Blood. It's good. This one is good. And I think I have another one of these. I don't know what the bottle. Oh God. Okay, I won't be able to make a candle out of this because as you saw, I just filled it. You see, guys, this is what I stopped also doing here. I'm very clumsy. You know? I started after I got my uh, carpal tunnel surgery. I'm unable to really hold things. I really... It's almost gone, so whatever. I'm fresh of fur. So anyway, so yeah, ever since I got the surgery, guys, I, my hands are not the same. You know, it's like when I hold a pair of shears, when I'm cutting here also, it's like a few times I almost cut the uh, the client. And and that's the point when I decided to, okay, I don't want to be responsible. I don't want to hurt anyone for me cutting hair. I don't need to give anybody any explanation. I'm telling you this now because you saw it live happening. And that's why the reason why I stopped doing hair, to be honest, you know, it's, I don't want to, I didn't want to, to tell it to anyone but you saw what happens, I'm very clumsy and just things happens. Okay, so it's combination. Oh, this, oh my God, look. I just saw another, this, you see? I have a big, a big bottle. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is not my favorite, guys, but I'm gonna make it. It's very potent, it's very, uh, it makes a statement, so. Candle number two, what do we want to make? Okay, I'm not gonna make amber and driftwood and Egyptian amber because I, I wanna use every scent only once. I don't wanna use the same scent for different candles because that's, okay, I wanna try, but I do wanna make a candle with fran uh, frankincense and mirror. With pressed fur. Let me see. Okay. Um, like I said to you guys, when I made my, my friend's candle, 
comparing the two Fraser furs. I like the Fraser fur from West Sound candle supply better than this one. So to me, this candle is Fraser fur and frankincense and mirror. It's just like making the candle that I make for my friend. Uh, so I'm not gonna make it. Okay, so let's see if I have peppermint and eucalyptus. Okay, I have it here. And I'm gonna make that one black amber and plum. Okay, so I'm gonna try these two. I just wanna do something new, something different. It's really nice. So I'm gonna make this into a candle. Really, really, really nice. Like if I were to, to try something like that, I would never think about mixing those two. So live and learn. Okay. The next one, I'm curious to see Betty Bear and Library. Betty Bear, where are you? It's small. And Library. Okay, and Library, yeah. Okay. And again, you, you can use any other Betty Bears on any other company that you have, you know? Near the uh, fragrance company, fragrance oil company. Okay, let's see. A lot of people love library. Betty Bear. I smell better. It's. I don't know. Everybody knows it's different, so I'm just giving you my opinion. You know, it's. It's what I think. Everybody else may find it beautiful. To each their own, you know, it's like everything in life. Okay, let's look at them. Oh my God, this is very nice, really. It's old fashioned uh, with the library and very masculine, very deep. Okay, so I'm gonna make, so this one is gonna be the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna make four candles using these recommendations, guys. Okay, so we have the four candles, the four different combinations. Okay, now I like making more than four candles. It's just to show you guys, you know, and you can make whatever combination you want, you know, but for me, I think four is enough. Remember, and when you do this kind of uh, testing, it's the same as making a big candle, you know, but I don't want to waste wax, you know, it's that's why I'm using PB600. So I'm gonna be using these two ounce containers, guys, that I got on Amazon. They're my favorite for testing. And I'm gonna use the LCS series, LCS 40. Okay, so I'm gonna use two of these. Always clean with alcohol, guys. To make sure you, you get rid of any excess dust, any excess chemicals that this may come from the manufacturing process. Make sure it's dry. It's like with any candle, you know, you, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea to make, to keep everything uh, sanitized and clean, you know, so. Okay, so I got my four candles, yes! Now let's make, uh, to make wicks for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put away these, the covers. So guys, so, so what I've been doing for uh, the, the soy bliss, for soy bliss I use the, uh, the CDN with series for the samplers. But when I'm using problem 600, PB600, I'm, I'm just gonna use the uh, the LCS, see, you make your own, you save money. So from one of the wigs, you make two. Actually, I could have made them shorter and fragrance strips to the side so I can take pictures later on for you guys. But again, I'm using, uh, I'm filming in 4K and I'm using 24 frames per second. Let's see how that works out. Uh, I'm getting a new computer, it's coming next week, a new MacBook Pro, and I'm using a new software 
to take uh, for my live streaming. It's called uh, it's called Curb, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, it's, it's a new software, and it gives me beautiful uh, picture, guys. And I'm very happy with the quality. So it's you pay thirty nine thirty nine dollars a, a year. And I think it's worth every penny. And I had I have a an old MacBook, and it's very slow. So whenever I did the, the different live streams in the past, they've been very low quality, and you know, and the sync of the of the audio and the and the picture is, is not there. So that's why I'm just experimenting. That's why I spend money on the computer. When it comes to technology, you have to keep upgrading because. I mean, they only last two or three years the most because you know the technology keep uh, evolving more and more and more. Okay, so now it's time to make the oils. And I'm having here, let me just mark them. Okay, so we need 1.3 ounces of wax in each and um, 0.14 ounces of 0.14 fragrance oil. For 10 percent 0.14 divided by 3 equals 0 0.046 okay that's what i'll do this scale is amazing okay guys so i have all the masterpieces blended now it's time to go and get the wax ready so i'm gonna uh, bring some of the PB600 and let's gonna measure each and every one and I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna put in here 1.3 ounces of wax. Okay, 1.3. Perfect. The next one. Perfect. It's so easy to do it like this. It's, uh, if soy bliss, if soy bliss ever goes out of uh, out of stock, I will go back to problem to bring uh, to this one here. Guys, it gives you an amazing HD, you know. So, you know, don't be discouraged if you have this. And, and you know, if you think, if you're thinking that the other one is too expensive, guys, you know, by all means, this one is very, it, it's a very good wax. There's room for all of us, you know, in this industry, you know, not everyone is equal. You know, you do things the way you, you like the best. And yeah, that's how we do it. Okay, so I have all these. 1.3 ounces and now I'm gonna take them to the grill and I'll take you to the grill too so we can, we can start cooking okay in the meantime let me just clean all this up yeah hey guys here we are we're cooking ta-da the four different candles you see how convenient it is guys to have this grill in here I got this at Walmart you know you can find this everywhere you know and yeah it's very inexpensive it's good to have it's getting hot yeah you know it's, it's good to have when you have when you want to run tests like this that I'm doing right now, guys, and you don't want to use the, uh, the double boiler because double boiler is very cumbersome, you know, it takes forever, you know, at least here you're making all of them at once. And I'm having here the four beauties. Ta-da! The four oils. And I got the vessels right over here. Ta-da! This is great because I don't have to measure the wax out of it because it's already been measured in there. Uh, all I need to do is just heat it up to 230. It's metal, it's not, uh, it's not keep the heat. It's not like if I'm using the Presto pot that I need to transfer that into another pot. And then that's when I really need to get it really hot. But being that this is already hot, you don't have to. And with this metal uh, spatula, and I'm gonna clean them every time I use different uh, scents, I'm gonna clean them with alcohol so that way it will not be uh, I will not transfer one cent to the other, okay? So I'm just beautiful. Let me see. Let's okay. show you inside. Can you see? Yes. So this this got too hot. So I'm gonna put it to the side to cool down a little bit. That right now it's very hot, it's 240. So I'm gonna let them cool down. It doesn't matter guys, uh, the wax is not gonna burn, okay? It's, it's, this happened to me before, okay? So let me just turn this off to 26. You see, they're cooling down fast. 
just stirring like that and it gets cooled down very fast because it's very tiny amount of wax. You see, 230. You see me? Okay, and number one is done. Perfect. Then number three in here. And number four in here. So let me clean this with alcohol. Oh my God, that French lilac. Oof, full tent. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Okay guys, here are my beauties. Let me just go clean everything and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, welcome back darling. Look at the beauties. Yes! Okay guys, so let's do a quick recap of what we did today on this video. Okay, so what I decided to do guys is I went to the uh, website from Candle Science and I went into the uh, learning section and I picked uh, the did, uh, recommendations of different uh, blend combinations from fragrance oils. So that's what I did. So. Uh, the first candle in here that I'm testing is gonna be Dragon's Blood, Fraser Fur, and Egyptian Amber. They're all equal parts, okay? The second candle, I use Black Amber and Plum, and Peppermint and Eucalyptus. Beautiful, a again, uh, equal parts. The third candle is gonna be French Lilac and English Garden, again, equal parts, beautiful. And the last one is Vetiver and Library, very, um, interesting uh, combination but i'm telling you i'm getting beautiful ct hopefully uh, by the end that i uh, test these candles by next saturday december 4th uh, i'll see uh, what is the result on the ht although uh, this needs to cure, uh, to cure for two weeks because remember pb600 just as uh, soy this wax it should be cured for two weeks uh, i'm using lcs 40 for these testers uh, I find that uh, for PB600 LCS uh, week series works better. Okay, so anyway, so uh, come and see me on my next live. I'm gonna be live stream. It's gonna be next Sunday, December the fifth at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so I'm gonna give you my opinion on what I think about this beautiful uh, tester that I made. Okay, okay, guys. So thank you for joining me today, guys. And don't forget to give me a like. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and check my other channel. Healthy Name with me, Michael. All the links are going to be uh, on the description box below. And we also, uh, the links to the uh, to the website, okay? Uh, for the oils. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. I love you. Bye. Yeah!